Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to install Windows Server 2012 R2 on VMA Workstation. Open VMA Workstation and go to File, then select New Virtual Machine. Two types of configuration. Select the Custom and click on Next. Select the default ones and here select the Installer Disk Image File. Then select the ISO file, then select Microsoft Server 2012 R2 ISO file. Then click on Next. See, Windows Server 2012 R2 detected. Then click on Next. If you have Windows product key, then enter here. Otherwise, you can enter later. If you don't have Windows product key, then you can use trial version for 180 days. Then select the version of Windows to install. Here I am going with Windows standard. Then provide the full name. I am giving name as administrator. Provide the password for Then click on next. Yes, we will enter product key later. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. And provide the virtual machine files and folder location. I am going to store all these in this directory. Then click on next. Select the for Homeware type. I am going with BIOS. Here I am selecting number of cores per processor are 2 and remaining same. Then click on next. Here provide the RAM size. Here I am providing 4 GB. Then click on next. Select the network type. Here I am selecting network address translation that is NAT. Then click on next. IO controller only one is supported. Then click on next. Then select the disk type. I am going with SCSI. And then here select the disk. If you have already an existing virtual disk, then select this one. If you want to use a physical disk, then select this one. I want to create a new virtual disk. Then click on next. Then, then provide the hard disk size. Here I am providing 60 GB. It is also recommended size is also 60 GB. Then, cl then click on next. And then select the location to store the virtual disk. I am going with the default one. Then click on next. These are the settings for Windows Server Virtual Machine. Then click on Finish. See, once we press on this black screen, cursor has been disabled. If you want to bring cursor from this virtual machine, then use the Alt Control. See, cursor has come out.
see installation is successful if you want to login then click on vm and select the send alt control del then provide the password we have created at the time of installation if you want to change the name of the windows server then click on local server and then click on here click on change then change the name once we click on this one we have to reboot your machine to affect the name change see you must reboot your computer to apply the changes okay in this video we have seen how to install windows server 2012 on vmware workstation please like this video and subscribe my channel for more windows videos